Hey, what's up everyone? Thunderbob here, and tonight I am checking out a new VR game. This is God of Rifts. Uh, this is like an audio shield type game, but one based around heavy metal music. Uh, I have played a number of these uh, music rhythm VR games. Audio Shield was one of the first VR games I really got into. Uh, and then Beat Saber came around a couple years ago. I play that pretty regularly. Uh, so I'm curious. This is like take rock and roll and add in like some killing of enemies with big axes. And you kind of got the idea. Hit enemies in time with the music. Match the color of your axe to the color of the enemy. Better timing and harder hits will give you more points. Hit the golden enemies to charge. When your power is fully charged, raise an axe to the sky and hit the trigger to unleash rage mode. Okay. Seems pretty simple. This is early access. I did receive this from the developer to check out, though it is only $4.99. This seems like pretty affordable at the moment. There are only four songs available from what I saw in one mode, though they are uh, indicating they're gonna double the content by uh, by the time this is fully released. So, so here's your, your songs. Okay. Yeah. You got some different levels. Forest Dock, Magma, Battlefield, Dungeon. And it looks like you got three modes, though hard is still coming soon. Let's try easy to start with, then we'll jump into the medium if I'm successful. So you got no fail, instant death, hidden enemies. So you got some modifiers just like uh, just like Beat Saber, you can also apparently increase the enemy speed. Oh, you gotta check that, I suppose. Hmm. Well, that's odd. Okay, well, I didn't want to change it anyways. I just wanted to see what options it gave you, but let's jump in. I'm gonna do, uh, let's do like the main song. We'll do it on easy. Okay, and I'm running this, oh wow, that's a cool background. Yeah. Really sweet. Okay, I missed the first guy, that's not a good start. Sorry, dude. I feel like the timing is just slightly, like you gotta lead them just a little bit, whereas Heat Saber, it feels a little bit more uh, precise. Like maybe the point you have to hit them with is like the blade rather than. I can't tell if I'm hitting them all the time too. Oh, I'm also hitting the wrong colors, that's probably why. I hit the button. Oh, he's headbanging. Okay, I'm getting it now. See, I hit that guy. I feel like the hitboxes maybe have a little work to be done. Or maybe I'm not swinging hard enough. It did say that you need to. Kind of at the edge of my play space here. I don't have it very set up very well. Not completely sure what that does. I love the background though. I 
I feel like I don't always get the sound when I hit them. And I can't tell if I'm missing or it's an audio issue. Okay. That's my score. I missed 9%. That's not great. Let's blow up a different level, though. I feel like I need to move. Can I reset my positioning? Let's see. The only problem when you uh, hit reset view. Try medium. Oh, I didn't even notice the leaderboard. Let's see, am I even on there? <clears throat> I had 150,000. There are people with millions, so. I'll put medium on that one. I do feel like, um, Beat Sabers, as much as I like it, the music kind of uh, hits, you know, EDM and not much else. Like, there are some packs you can get with, like, Imagine Dragons and Linkin Park and stuff, but I feel like they could use a bit more rock music at times. Fan of rock. I know I'm white. It's kind of stereotypical, but uh, yeah. I do like Beat Sabers music, too. Not to say it's bad, but some variety can be good. Ah, I hit that guy. These yellow ones, I think you can just like hit with whatever, but they power you up. Still not quite sure what that does. One thing I feel like they could do better is I don't really feel like the things coming at you like link up with the audio cues super well. Like some games like Audio Shield had a auto-generating music rhythm pattern. Beat Saber has like hand-done patterns. But I feel like they're just kind of randomly coming at me. I can't tell that it's in sync. I guess there's some, but it's maybe not as refined as like Beat Saber. It's maybe better than Audio Shield though, because that was all just random. Not random, it was generated through some kind of algorithm. I do love Audio Shield though. It's too bad that it lost YouTube support and like kind of feel like the developer walked away to some extent. I'm not sure if I'm not swinging hard enough at times, but like, I feel like I am putting my acts in the way of each of these, and some of them are getting through. But when I really give it a good swing, I feel like it always hits, so maybe that's my problem. You can't just, like an audio shield, you can just put your shield in front of the note, and it works. This may require a little bit more force, like you're actually stabbing them. See now, as I'm like swinging a little harder, I feel like I'm getting every one.
I probably look like an idiot on the cam, but it's all right. I look like an idiot in real life too. It seemed like they might be adding another mode, like an adventure mode or something. Kind of curious if you could add like almost like a... Got 93%. Almost like an RPG mode where like your battles are done with music. I'm just gonna go through... I'm almost done already with the available level, so... I could use some exercise anyways. I was gonna go for a bike ride today. I'm taking the day off because I had to run some errands and had a doctor's appointment. Very heavy metal-ish. I was planning on going for a bike ride and it has literally rained all day. I'm in Florida. And I think since I woke up, it's been raining. They could use like some barriers or something like, like, uh, you know, like Beat Saber has, or like the notes you have to hold, like Audio Shield has, like some other mechanic I feel like could go, could add to this. I guess it's harder to maybe link up notes in a song like this than like, like EDM music has like a really hard beat that gets repeated a lot. I do like the backgrounds. The backdrops are really cool. Getting better. Wow. I think it broke a million points. All right, let's try the... Duh. Medium. I'll do Battlefield. And then I'm probably done. Upcycle through each of the levels. I mean, I do feel like it probably needs some more content. Dragon! I know what the drums are about. Obviously, you're going to get bored with four songs before too long. But it is um, only $4.99, and they have, I think they've said at least four more songs, and they're looking at another mode. So $4.99 is not a bad value. Beat Saber is what, 40 bucks for 20 songs or something? But it is, it just came out. I feel like there's a little bit of work they need to do on some of the hit detection. Man, that's a lot of guys. I mean, I'm not bad at the genre. Uh, I used to be like top 10 in the world at Audio Shield at one point. Like I was hitting number ones on some of their songs and then I kind of fell off of it. And like, I don't think anyone actually plays it anymore. Beat Saber, I'm definitely not competitive, but I'm okay at it. And like, I swung to that guy and I'm pretty sure I didn't get a, a hit on it. I think their 
bar for how hard you have to swing to actually get a hit is perhaps a little too high, in my opinion. Like, if I just hold it there, you don't get anything, I think. You actually have to swing, which, I mean, makes sense, but there's, like, a line where is it a swing or is it not? And I think sometimes they want a little bit more than I'm given. Like that. I should have hit that guy. I don't know what that really does. I guess it's like a multiplier. It is hard to get a full swing in when you got so many coming at the same time. One other thing is, primarily you get blue on one side and red on the other, even in the medium difficulty. Like most of these games have it where they swap up, come at you in like less obvious patterns. Um, I feel like you should have like crossovers and it's just a little simplistic in that way. Overall, there's not a lot of games that serve this music genre. And it's got cool backdrops, pretty pretty decent music. Overall, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it. I mean, there's some, some things they could still work out. Definitely needs more songs. If they could actually build out like, a, like an adventure mode or something, I'd be quite impressed with that. But for $4.99, I think it's a pretty good value. Like, if you're looking for one of these games that, that hit the rock music genre, check it out. If you're looking for something that they're going to build up over time, obviously this just came into early access last week, so it is quite new. Uh, yeah, here's, let's see. We're working to build God of Rifts into the greatest, planning all sorts of new features, clearly sharing sneak peeks of new enemies, yes, and challenges, and tracks. Create feedback. Okay, yeah. So keep an eye out. I will probably play this maybe a little further down the road when uh, they patch it, when they add some more either songs or modes to the game. But overall, for 4 I say that's pretty good value. Uh, if you like this, I've got a whole playlist full of VR videos, VR content. Check it out if you like it. Think about subscribing. I would appreciate it. Thanks again for watching, everyone. Have a good day.